all right people uh, as promised earlier what we're gonna do uh, here today is uh, try and take the Samsung Infuse uh, i997 uh, uh, Infuse 4G phone back to stock uh, to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, use uh, a, a stock ROM uh, which which has uh, the the mod 3e uh, the recovery mode and uh, it's it's pre-rooted so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it take the phone back to stock however uh, we're gonna have the phone pre-rooted and the recovery mode is gonna be there uh, essentials uh, what we're gonna require is uh, the Samsung keys mini and uh, ensure that it's it's properly installed on your on your computer and uh, if if it if it is installed in that case what, what you're gonna do uh, what you're gonna see is rather uh, everything uh, is gonna show up as ready for ready to use all right and uh, what what I'm trying to do here is uh, try and download the ROM from uh, the xdawlovers.com uh, now I, I I have already downloaded the the ROM on my computer it's saved in my documents and uh, I'm gonna use Odin, Odin 3 version uh, 1 spot 31.exe to uh, flash uh, my phone back to stock. All right, it's not 100% stock because the phone would be pre-rooted. Uh, remember, when you buy the phone uh, from from AT&T or from uh, from the store, uh, you are not gonna uh, you're not gonna get a phone which is uh, pre-rooted. However, uh, the the ROM that we're gonna use today is is pre-rooted. So root rooted means that that you have admin or super user rights to the phone, right? You can you can do more stuff than than the phone, uh, you know, that than than what what you would get out of the box, you know. Okay, uh, enough said. Uh, what what I wanna do is I wanna show you. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is this is the XDA developers uh, thread. This is the main thread from where I have downloaded the the software. I'm gonna scroll down. This is this is the one that I'm using today. Uh, UCKD5 stock plus root plus 3E modded recovery mode. Uh, I'm gonna use Odin to flash the phone. And as you can see the the stock specifications suggest that the phone was shipped with Android 2 Spot 2 Froyo. So we're gonna go back from gingerbread to Froyo. Uh, remember the phone uh, that I am uh, flashing right now is currently running uh, a gingerbread 2 Spot 3 Spot 5. Uh, what we're gonna do here is try and go back to Android uh, 2 Spot 2 which is uh, Froyo which is uh, going back to stock. Okay, next step is uh, to go back to my documents and uh, this is where I have save, saved the, the stock ROM and the Odin file. What I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm running Windows 7 out here, therefore I'm going to uh, do a right click on Odin and I'm going to run it as administrator. It's going to ask me to confirm. I have done that and please ensure you do not check on anything apart from what is already checked in Odin. Uh, what is going to be checked is auto reboot and F reset time so do not do not check on anything else and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get to the download mode to do that what, what we're gonna have to do is remove the battery from the phone uh, put it back in press the up and down volume keys simultaneously when you insert the USB cable to the phone that's how we get to the download mode and if everything's uh, done properly Odin should be able to detect the phone on one of the com ports. Okay, uh, I have uh, turned off the phone once again I have taken out the battery put it back in and uh, I am holding down the up and I'm sorry the, uh, the volume up and down uh, keys simultaneously and what I'm trying to do here is uh, insert the USB cable into the phone and uh, 
hopefully we're gonna get to the recap download mode yeah we're on the download mode perfect this time around we are okay perfect we're in the download mode right now and uh, I'm gonna take you through the step steps to downgrade the phone back to stock back to Froyo okay perfect uh, the phone is in download mode and Odin has detected the phone in COM port, uh, it says COM24, uh, auto reboot is uh, checked, reset time is checked, PDA, uh, in, in PDA mode we have selected the stock ROM, new stock spot tar spot MD5 and we're going to click on start now. Ensure that uh, the COM port is detected and it, it, it shows up in yellow and uh, you should get uh, if if you're running Windows 7, you should get a uh, a prompt which says your device is ready to use, right? And we're gonna click on start now. You look at the left hand side you can see you can see the updates there You can see uh, an update going through. This is the green progress bar. Well, that's moving. As a matter of fact, you can see the progress bar on the phone as well you can see the same progress bar on the computer screen as well It's almost there, about two thirds. This is a step by step guide. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to uh, put down the I'm going to put down the, the links uh, to xdadevelopers.com and uh, I'm going to put on links to my blog on, on, on the YouTube uh, thread for, for uh, you guys to go ahead and download the, 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 the ROM and the, the Odin software from uh, xdadevelopers.com and uh, you can also follow the thread, the official thread on 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 xdadevelopers.com just pass perfect
phone is restarting as you can see the phone is restarting and we are in the recovery mode right now perfect highlighted option that you can see uh, on, on your screen uh, well this is the 3e recovery screen um, this is this this is the screen from where you can uh, restore your computer I'm sorry the, the phone to factory settings you can reboot your phone as well uh, the option that is selected right now is reboot system now and you can hit the power button to select uh, that option once you do that it's gonna reboot your phone you can see the Samsung screen everything possible Just to let you know the the reason I'm uh, I'm downgrading the phone to stock. Uh, well, well, there there are two reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, primarily, I want to uh, enable. Uh, I want to, I want to root the phone. Uh, basically, I want to have administrator privileges on the phone, super user privileges on the phone. Uh, secondary is uh, I I want to upgrade the phone from two uh, two point three point five gingerbread. To, uh, to the latest leak which is out on xdadevelopers.com which is 2.3.6 uh, 2.3.6 is, is, is the latest operating system and uh, we are about to boot to the home screen here yeah. phone has successfully put it into the home screen and we are back we are back to Froyo I'm gonna go to settings and we are gonna go to about phone you can see Focus issues here. There you go. Two point two point one I nine nine seven U C K D five. Yeah, that's what that. Get back to throw you. And I think I need to. That's about it. If you have any more questions or doubts, you can place them at xdadevelopers.com or you can ask me questions at on my blog or on my YouTube thread. Thank you so much. Bye bye.